Oh. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Oh, come on! Reminds me of a case of war. Yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Told you this place was really good. Told you to know. Keep it together, leg! Come to happy! Leg it! Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of the Aegean. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! <laughs> Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale? What do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime my idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Huh. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwood himself did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. 
down the line trying to swing to yodel and I... Ugh, another time. Hmm. Nose is too small. Aye, <laughs> and the sword's too big. By the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern? <laughs> Technique's not quite right. But you gotta admit, he's doing it with gusto. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. They're sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So, che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Danny Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummers' costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility, 
to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosavar Atre named her Gwihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard would be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witch I took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Gerald. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something, if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but 
it would be nice if you dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie L? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Sorry. Can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecherous? You shouldn't listen to everything people say about... It means they go to sleep early. Oh! So that's why Mum went to tuck that witcher in. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? Don't believe everything they say about witchers. What about animals? They don't like you. 
My mum says animals don't like bad folk. Tomcat ever hiss at you? You stole many kids. Enough. That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. You there! Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came. Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? Thanks. That was an ordeal. Think I'd rather face a swarm of Neckers than a class of ten-year-olds. The rat catcher had no objections. Oh yeah? How's he feeling? He's dead. Bubonic plague, it seems. I didn't want to upset the children. But you wish to speak of Dandelion? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Ah, uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw, crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Greta's got the empire. This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? 
I guess so. I called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The Grey Mare looks nimble. Besides, knew a man named Kair once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Riders, ready! Don't spare the horse! Come on. Come on now. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Sick, sick of it all. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his loo. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... 
Or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Ah, oh, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Let us say what do you want. Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. I hope you realize what you've got yourself into. I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. 
Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Granted! You're quick! Ah. with two swords when you can barely handle one. Oh! Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Var Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Sorry, you lost me. You're not the first to be confused. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. 
We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kaviri. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. There wasn't a stain with any of them. I've not seen hide nor hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of dandelions pick up things. Dubious worth. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a last study in natural history? Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He had a stare for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones, trying to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know about human women, but that would bore a dwarf master tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this man? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Like some dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Hmm. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troupe. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
These scars long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you weep the wolf i will follow into the storm to find your heart its passion displaced by our ever growing hardening into stone Amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace You flee, my dream come the morning Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Not if fate would have us live as one Or if by love's blind chance we've been bound The wish I whispered when it all began Did it forge a love you might never have found You flee my dream come the morning your scent, berry star, lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Of violet eyes glistening as you boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! It permits me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. 
So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. And lay awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven, what's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again. Rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt him. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything.